welcome to you my name's dale and this is dale's addiction i am doing a quick couple of day trip um to the homeland tasmania um in and out just to quickly catch up with a couple of family members whilst i have the week off post easter break so when i was packing i thought i might challenge myself to do something different which is why I'm making this video because I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you of the actual trip. But it's more about the outfits I'm packing for the trip because as you know me, I'm not a neutral girly, but I have decided to do a neutral capsule for this trip in my own unique way. So I'm going to show you um, what I have chosen to wear for each day traveling and you know how they transition through the day why i've picked what i've picked etc um i hope you find it useful in some way so it may be a surprise to some of you but australia is such a big country that the weather here might be 28 degrees but the weather in tasmania might be 15 degrees and raining so i am traveling today i'm traveling over the lunch period because of daylight savings and I um, am going straight to my dad's house. We're gonna chill for a bit. So I've popped a cardigan <laughs> in, but for travel and given that I'll get off the plane and um, it'll be raining, I decided to wear my trench. And so I've pulled this one back out. This trench and I have been through some disharmony with each other because it's not the right color for me. But if I wear it with a really cool black or white underneath, it actually corrects the color of it against my skin. So let me show you what I've got on. For plain travel, I'm wearing my comfy Jakuba straight leg jeans. I think these are called the Alexa boyfriend jeans. My Vivia boots, because I like to have a pair of boots with me, they're patent, so they'll be great for the rain. And this top I bought from Veronica Main last year, it actually comes with a skirt as well. I just like the fact that it has a little arm covering, it's oversized and it gives a little bit of texture. For me, the worst thing about neutrals is that they're boring for me. So then I can just carry my coat and before I get off the plane, I can pop my coat on and I think that looks great. Then <laughs> I've got my suitcase. Yes, it's a lot because I'm gonna bring back some supplies. Whenever I go to Tasmania, I buy butter. So I need, yes, they only have it there. Anyway, it's a thing. Um, so I'm taking my GM Neverfull and inside I've packed a couple of little carry bags. I've packed my Fendi baguette in the mini silver metallic color. And I've also packed my Chanel lock. So I told you I was going neutral. I'm definitely going neutral. Let's see you for the next outfit. Okay, this is day two of wearing neutrals. Who even am I? All right, how have I put this outfit together? Black straight leg jeans from Jakuba, showing a bit of ankle to break up the look. My Golden Goose All Stars with leopard print laces, a little bit of fun. This is a suit jacket, but it's in wool, so I'm nice and warm from witchery. And I've just pushed the sleeves up to make it look a bit more casual. I have this gorgeous cashmere knit with a fun twist with a smurf. I'll link all the information in the description box below. And then I have my Fendi metallic mini baguette for a little pop. Are you still there? <laughs> ah, the novice factor. Okay, for a little pop of colour and a bit of me. Celine Sunnies, this is the look. Hopefully, it works. Okay, it's day three of my neutral capsule. I'm back to travelling. I'm wearing my Roger Vivia Ranger boots. I'm wearing my distressed Alexa jeans. I've got my Lily Silk cami on with a, that's my pupper, <laughs> with a pinstriped, vertical striped, large cuffed shirt that I have wrapped the cuffs up over my blazer sleeves. So when I get to the airport, I'm going to have to take this jacket off to go through security. And what I'll do just for a little bit of modesty is I'll just button this shirt in a couple of spots so that I can go through security without 
taking the shirt off. This is a great shirt because it has this high cut here. So what I can do, it's got the contrast black buttons. It's an old style from Country Road. I can do like a half tuck like that. I can do a front tuck. I can tie it. I can undo it and wrap it like across the body. There's a lot of options for this kind of oversized large cuff shirt. Obviously, hair's up today. Celine Sunnies and a bit of a messy undone look, which is my vibe. So again, we've got a pattern clash with the pinstripes and the plaid. We've got a bit of distressing. We've got some bling on the boots. And we've got the monogram. Um, little hack for you. I have put my baguette strap on the back of my Neverfull so I can sit it on my case. How about that? Okay, adios.